Hey, good evening. Good Saturday evening. Yes, this Saturday is winding down and I thought, do I want to start my Sunday's dinner tonight or should I wait until tomorrow? I decided to go ahead on and start it tonight. And what I'm fixing tonight um, for my meal tomorrow is a beef pot roast. Now, normally I either, the majority of the time I cook my pot roast on top of the stove. Sometimes I will braise it in the oven. Um, I am going to put this roast in the oven. Um, I won't necessarily call it braising, but we're going to cook this in the oven, okay? And I want you to take a look at this roast. All right. Bought this roast a couple of weeks ago, and it's actually it's supposed to be two roasts. But as you can see, they're quite small. Yes, I got these from Sam's. They used to be a lot larger. And what we would do when we, we would buy them is take and split it. You know, put uh, one in one bag and one in another. Um, but as small as these are, they kind of look like large steaks. So I'm going to have to cook the both of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and get these cleaned up and rinse them off. I'm going to get them seasoned up and we're going to drop them on the stove real quick to brown them up. We'll have our vegetables. I have some bell peppers, onions, and fresh garlic uh, to bake along with this meat. Okay, so I'm going to get them clean, cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I got those uh, two beef rolls rinsed off good. I've seasoned them good, okay, on both sides. I went on ahead and put all of my seasoning on there. And what I'm going to do, I have a pan here on the stove. Um, I'm going to go ahead on and brown, brown these roast up just a little bit on each side, okay, before we put them in the oven. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on both. And if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me sear meat. So I'm not going to... Stay on while this meat is browning, but I am going to show it to you after it has browned, okay? I'm really contemplating using this same pan to cook them in. Just have to be sure I have enough space for my, my carrots and my potatoes. Okay, so we're going to take this meat. This grease should be hot. It's going to make a lot of noise, y'all. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought, okay? So we're going to let that brown. It's just going to cook for a couple of minutes, all right? I'm turning it back up to right up under a high. And when I flip it over, I'll be back to show it to you. All right, y'all, it has literally only been a couple of minutes. Still sticking with me. I probably can let it go just a little bit longer, but we're going to flip it. Yeah. See, when it does that, that means I didn't let it sit there long enough. But that's okay. That is all right. Gonna take this meat a good while to cook. See, I, I got it. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this brown up on the other side a couple of minutes, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I have this one brown. It's only been a couple of minutes again. Okay, look at that on that side. So we're gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna set it over here. I'm still debating on what pan I'm gonna fix this in. And now I'm gonna go ahead on and drop the other one. I was cutting up onions and stuff, y'all. Um, we're gonna put the other piece in. And then after we brown our meat, I'll throw my vegetables in here for just, just a little bit because they're gonna cook a long time in that oven, okay? Throw my vegetables in here and then we'll get this in the oven. Now see how small that is? And they call that a roast, y'all. That's supposed to be a roast right there. I'll be back. All right, y'all. This one is brown. It was just a couple of minutes on each side to keep your grease pretty hot. I had it like a medium. Okay? And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop these vegetables. And I have a half of a, a large onion. Okay, I have a half of a bell pepper in here. Oh, Lord, y'all, I forgot my garlic. How about that? We can't, we, we can't cook this meat without garlic, y'all. I have um, 
a stalk and a half of celery. That's what I have in there. Celery, onions, and bell pepper. I'm going to add some garlic to it. And I'm just letting it cook just for a minute there. And we're going to add that, all of that to the pan. I'm trying to peel my, my garlic, y'all, I forgot. I shouldn't be in the kitchen in the evening. I don't got to where I forget too many things, y'all. Yes, too many things. Okay, we got a little bit of garlic, but I need more. Okay, I'm just going to slice it up because this meat is going to cook three hours. Three hours. That's one good size clove there. But I want another one. See if I can get this peeled real quick. I think my husband bought some of that garlic that's already diced up or minced up, but it's just something about it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not too keen on using it. Don't know how long it's been in the jar. Okay. Got one more piece of garlic, and you know what? I'm gonna turn these veggies off, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to put this meat in the oven. Nothing special, really. Now I have a little bit of flour left in this pan here that the meat came out of. I have a little bit of flour left. I'm gonna leave that flour in the bottom of this pan, okay? So we're just, just sauteing them up a little bit. That's all. And I want what's on the bottom. Okay. All of that's going to go in our pan with our roast. Okay. And I've already turned them off. So we're going to move them so that my garlic don't burn. So what I'm going to do now in this pan right here. I'm going to add this beefy onion soup mix, one pack, comes with two. I'm putting one pack in a cup here. I'm going to add some water to it. And I'm going to see how much liquid this gives me in the bottom of this pan. All right, let's pour that in. Right in there with that flour, y'all, because that flour is, is not going to do anything but help make some gravy. That's all it's going to do. It's going to cook up into a gravy. And now I already see that that's not enough. I'm just stirring up that flour on the bottom, y'all. Hope y'all can see this. Let me turn you around a little bit. Just stirring up that flour from the bottom. And now what I'm going to do to put some more liquid and stuff on there. To put some more liquid here is put some, I have chicken broth. That's all I have. And I'm going to use that. Because this is going to like almost braise in there, okay? I'm putting enough liquid in there that it will be like braising it. You got to have enough liquid in there. So let's see. Now we're going to take and put our, and I season my roast, y'all. And I, I hope I don't seem all over the place. I apologize for that when I get to Russian. But I seasoned it with um, basic seasoning. I use salt, pepper, lorries, granulated garlic, all purpose. And I use some dried parsley. Okay. I'm reaching in front of y'all, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put this back into this pan. Yes, yes, and yes. 
everything that fell off of it goes right back in this pan. Look at that, y'all. Okay. So we can add just a little bit more juice because it's probably going to make some juice of its own. All right. And now I'm going to take my vegetables, put them on here. I want all of this that I scraped up and everything, all of it to go in. Okay. And I'm going to also put some fresh thyme. I remembered this time to get some fresh thyme. I had been out of it for a couple of weeks, y'all. But we haven't gone grocery shopping in a minute. Okay, so that's my roast. That's my vegetables. I'm going to put some fresh thyme. And then we're just going to cover this. Let me get my thyme, y'all. Get the time. So I want y'all to see everything. Just I'm taking it out. I'm gonna rinse it just a little bit here. Okay. Put that in. I'm gonna put it down in the juice here so it all that flavor gets in there, y'all right yes and now all i'm going to do is cover it because i don't have a lid for this pan and that's okay i'm going to cover it with uh aluminum foil put it in the oven now the total time that this roast is going to cook is at least three hours chuck roasts take a long time to cook to where it's tender okay so i'm going to put it in there and at about two and a half hours, I'll pull it out. I'll see what's going on with it, okay? And I'm going to add my carrots and my potatoes, okay? This meat should shrink up just a little bit here for me to have room. But I'm going to put my carrots and potatoes, and they will cook with the meat the last 30 minutes, okay? Now, I know you've seen some people, they will start with their potatoes and carrots in here. I don't do that because I don't want to cook them for three hours, okay? I don't want mush. I, I want my potatoes and carrots to be nice, okay? So, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and put it in a 350 degree oven for two hours, 30 minutes, and I'll be back to put in my potatoes and carrots. Hey, y'all, I'm back with this roast. It has been two and a half hours, and it's tender, y'all. It's tender. Now, you'll notice there's a, there's some grease here on the top, and that's okay because what I would, oh, yeah, it's tender, y'all. What I will do tomorrow, because I'm going to let it cool down, I'm going to put it in the fridge tonight. So tomorrow, that grease, I will take and take off of the top because it's going to rise to the top, okay? It's going to rise. So now what I'm going to do is place my carrots. And I just have some little baby carrots, y'all. And they are baby. When I say baby, these are the tiniest carrots I've ever seen. Okay. I only peeled a few potatoes. Probably, I think, four of them. Because we're going to also have rice, y'all. We're going to have rice. So I'm going to put this back in there for about 30, 45 minutes. Be sure our potatoes are done, okay? Like I said, don't worry about the grease. Because, um, and, and if you're making it the same day you're going to eat it, then you're going to have to try to get that grease off of the top. But by it getting cold, which is what I like to do, it'll be easy to come off, okay? That is our carrots and potatoes. I've never, like I said, y'all, I ain't never seen baby carrots this small. But you know, everything is smaller these days. Look at that. Baby carrots. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to put it back in. And it will be done soon. I'll probably sprinkle some black pepper on my potatoes. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I am back with this roast. It is done. 
okay everything in here is done and you can see the grit look at that now I, like I said I'll get this oil off in the morning once this cools down and if this gravy is not thick enough for you because what I'm gonna do tomorrow I'm gonna slice this and heat it up that's what I do when my roast is cold and I'll heat it up on the stove and I'll put this gravy in there with it and I can just add a little flour and water if it doesn't appear to be as thick as I want it okay but look at that beautiful roast it is tender as butter look at that y'all OMG the fork just went down to the look at that beautiful roast okay yes here it is let me show it to you look at that beautiful roast it's going to be good yes we will have this tomorrow for our sunday dinner and y'all what i did i already have my dessert made for tomorrow i made me another coconut cream pie don't know if you saw the video for the other one i'm going to move this and hope that the light doesn't fall i don't know if you saw the one the tape that i made of a coconut cream pie if you haven't you need to go and check it out it is an excellent pie I made me one and that's what we're having for dessert tomorrow okay so you all it's late it's almost 11 o'clock at night y'all have yourself a good night and have a good sunday okay and i'll see you real soon on my next video bye bye